Hi everybody. Um, hope you're enjoying some of the videos I got put up. Uh, very eventful weekend with a CQB training from uh, Pipe Hitters Tactical and DPTS. Um, very informative. If you get a chance to take a class from either one of those uh, entities, please do. You will not regret it. It is money very well spent. Uh, for those of you who think that you're ready for defending your home and your family, if you've not been trained by someone who's been there and done it and is alive because they can do it, you're not ready and you're probably going to fail miserably. Uh, I received some training previously and failed miserably in the beginning. However, as time progressed, skills were honed and now everybody in the class is very proficient at what the class was based upon. Uh, extreme amounts of knowledge, um, skill sets were amazing. Instruction, second to none. Um, I, I just can't say enough. I mean, I'm covered in bumps and bruises and scrapes and and whatnot because it was all real hands-on. It was live training in kill houses the same way that uh, special forces and, and uh, special operations groups do it. Um, amazing stuff. If you've not listened to me up till now, go to YouTube, check out Kelly Allwood, look at his videos, um, Pipe Hitters Tactical, look at their videos. Search for uh, in your YouTube bar, your YouTube search for uh, DPTS training that you're not going to find. There, there is no rival for this training. I mean, it's just unbelievable, unbelievable. But um, now on to the next part of this video. Uh, thank you to Delsley Sizemore. He had a contest that ran on his YouTube channel which I will put a link, or not a link, because I can't do that right now for some reason, but I will put his channel name down in the description. Um, he ran a contest, and very few people entered it, but I did, and I won. The prize was supposed to be this knife and clip-on headlamp combo. Um, looks like a nice little knife, stainless steel blade, black aluminum handle, dual thumb studs, uh, mechanical linear lock, and it's got the pocket clip. It's about two and a half inches long. It's a nice little knife. Um, I'm going to open it up here in a little bit, check it out, and see how well it works. Nice little five LED uh, clip light. Let's see if I can get some light on it here. There we go. Um, says it's five white LEDs. Uh, Hat clip for hands-free operation. Push button on and off. Uh, ANSI output of 10 lumens. Runs about three hours, it says. Uh, beam distance up to 15 meters. So we'll check those out. He also threw in a Centec five-function multi-tester, which was a bonus. I mean, these are these are nice. Um, they're not like your fluke or uh, the the other high-end name brand testers, but these are these are good. These are good quality tester. Uh, gets everything done that I need in the garage. Uh, I've I've had a few of these, and for some reason I end up a lot of times I'll put it in the truck and take it if somebody breaks down or whatever and I, I'd do tests out there or something and they end up hey that that's a nice little tester and for for you know all intents and purposes I sell it to them um, but this is a nice one I'll keep a hold of this one um, and we'll go from there you can you, just there's a lot of things you can do with this so 
Um, we're going to check it out. See, most of us know what these do, but I want to check the quality of these, this little combo here. Um, looks like it came from, distributed by Rural King, made in China, but we'll, we'll see how they work. I'm sure they're going to do fine. Um, I just want to check it out. Been getting really into the knives here lately, as everybody knows, and I, I like to see what everybody else is doing, just to see you know what is and isn't out there so that I can you know improve upon or take the idea that I have and bring it to be so all right there's what we've got there uh, I'm on vacation this week so hopefully I can get some stuff done I've got a get-together of a bunch of friends this weekend um, not sure how that's going to go. We've got some that have canceled and some that have gotten a hold of me and said, hey, I think I might be able to make it. It's going to be great. So we'll see. And everybody have a good, safe Monday.